perfect. Good morning, Pop. Have a good day. Good morning, son. I'll be seeing you in about an hour. Okay, inmate 12483. You can leave now. Now remember, if you don't report to your parole officer by 5 o'clock today, you'll be right back in this cell tonight. You can't go straight. It's too tough out there. I'll save your place at dinner. You'll be back. Heathcliff, breakfast is on. Grandma, you shouldn't... Stand in the doorway when you call Heathcliff to meals. <laughs> oh, Heathcliff, it's not that bad. No, I don't want to have some. At least try it, Heathcliff. After all, Grandpa bought it especially for you. <laughs> what kind of food was that? I don't know. It was on sale. Luckily, I only bought ten cans of it. <laughs> I think you made your point, Heathcliff. Dad. Son. Who's at the front door, Heathcliff? It must have been that neighbor boy. He's the one who likes to ring the doorbell and then run away. Phew, that was close. What are you doing? Uh, I'm hiding you from the cops. Yeah, but... Uh, this is Iggy's room. Uh, you'll be safe here. Uh, don't worry, Pop. I'll save you. Yow! Why did you do that? Because you wouldn't listen to me. I'm free. I was paroled today. Paroled? Why? For good behavior. <laughs> Look, I just stopped by here to say hello. Now I've got to get to my parole officer. <laughs> parole for good behavior? Oh, that's funny, Pop. <laughs> now uh, let me get back to work before the cops get here. Have it your own way, Heathcliff. I think I'll lie down and get some sleep while you finish barricading us in. <laughs> Parole for good behavior. <laughs> Pop! Uh oh. I better go get him. Neighborhood. Have you guys seen my pop? What you doing in the old neighborhood, Heathcliff? Looking for trouble? Now that you live the soft life, maybe you forgot how tough it is around here. Uh, look, uh, have you guys seen my pop? We don't remember him too good. What's he look like? Have you got a picture of him? <laughs> We were only kidding earlier. Never mind about that. Have you seen my pop? No, we haven't seen him. I will let you know if we do. Won't we, boys? Yeah. Maybe he's down at the docks. Uh, this was one of Pop's favorite hideouts. Pop, are you under there? Pop? Come on, uh, let's get out of here. Uh, uh, sorry, I thought you was my pop. I'd be sorry if I was your pop. And if you're not out of here by the time I count three, I'm gonna rearrange your whiskers. One, two, three. <laughs> It 
It's been fun, but I gotta go find my pop. Had enough. I've gotta find my... Ah! Oh, I gotta stop Pop before he robs that bank. <laughs> I hope I'm not too late. Come on, Pop. I'm taking you home. Heathcliff, I told you I'm a free man. Well, you won't be free for long robbing banks. I'm not here to rob this bank. I'm reporting to my parole officer in that building across the street. Oh, yeah, sure you are, Pop. Oh, no. It's the cops. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hey, let me out of here! Hey, Cliff, get me out of here now! And no time to play now, Spike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks, Spike! Nothing plays in my pop. He left this time, you've gone too far. Now let me out of here! Okay, Pop, hiding you isn't gonna work. You're gonna have to wear a disguise. Look, Heathcliff, I told you. Uh, no time to argue now, Pop. You wait here. Uh, better yet, uh, come with me. Oh, this is a disgrace. No, no. I will not be seen in public like this. Come on, Pop. You look kind of cute. <laughs> Besides, the cops will never recognize you in this costume. Heathcliff, I keep trying to tell you, the cops aren't... Why, Heathcliff, you two-timing, double-crossing cheat! Uh, uh, Sonia, w w wait a minute. I, I can explain. That's my pop. Your pop? That's the worst excuse I... It is my pop. He escaped from prison, and he's wearing a disguise so the cops won't find him. Oh, well, that's a different story. Besides, I knew you had better taste than that. Hey, gorgeous! New in town? Hey, how'd you like to go out with me tonight? <laughs> And now for my afternoon appointment. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Uh, listen, Sonia, I, I gotta go catch Pop before the cops do. See you around, Heathcliff. Hmm. Pop! The bank! here to see some parole officer, did you? Oh, I guess you can't teach an old cat new tricks. I hope Pop is okay. I think you'll be with us for a long time, number 12483. <laughs> he's so cute when he's sleeping. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll move the horsey over here. Checkmate. As usual. <coughs> Riff Raff, did you hear a baby crying? Come on, Hector. A baby in a junkyard? <coughs> what do you call that? Well, I'll be smitten. It's a little kitten. Quick, put it back. You can't leave it out here. What am I going to do with a baby kitten? Aww, you have to take it in. At least for the night. Yeah, and it's keeping us awake, too. He must have bounced into this junkyard. I just have to find my baby. Baby? Oh, baby? Come on, baby. Throw the ball to Uncle Riff Raff. Throw the ball. Yeah! <laughs> Good baby. Mama! He must be here somewhere. It's so dark here. I wish I could see. It's a nightmare! Too small. Wow! It's a lion, and I'm crying. Too stupid. Yow! Rise, baby! Uh-oh! Why, you've grown! Is <laughs> she gone? Gone, Daddy, gone! We better go tell Riff Raff what's happened here. <laughs> no more ball, okay, baby? A, a, a lion took Mongo! What? The mother lion thought Mungo was her baby and took him. <coughs> we'll have to take the baby back to the circus in the morning and exchange it for Mungo. Don't you think we could get something better than Mungo? Look, it's the only way we're going to get rid of him. Now try and get some sleep. is not working. We better hurry up before we're spotted. What was that? Phew, that was close. Too close. They're coming back. Let's get out of here. Hornet! Quick, in here. Put the metal to the metal! Now watch me, son. Okay, now you do it. Uh-uh. You have to, son. If you don't do tricks, you don't eat. Oh, that's all right. I ate just yesterday. <laughs> Not much of a performer, is he? He'll be just fine. He's a little nervous. He got lost last night. He's going to do a great act. Yeah, a disappearing act. Huh? Oh, no. My baby. Baby, where are you? <laughs> If I climb up here, 
no one will find me. Now let's get back to rehearsal. Now I play the part of the lion tamer. When I crack this whip, like that, you put out your paw and give a roar. Yeah, roar. No, 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 like this. Well, you tried. Here's your reward. Maybe we should start with something easy. Okay. Now jump through the hoop. Yeah, down. A little more. Perfect. Yeah, where's my reward? Now come on, baby. We're going to do this over and over till you get it right. Then you'll get your reward. <laughs> Well, he's not out here. He must be inside. Now you behave yourself in here. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please to the main ring, where a baby lion will jump through three flaming hoops. If you don't do tricks, you don't get fed. It's Mungo. We've got to get him out of there. Yeah, as soon as he's jumped through the hoops. I ain't looking, cause Mungo be cooking. Wordsworth's right. We've got to save Mungo now. Yummy! First, we have to come up with a diversion. Now, what can we use? Ah! To jump through the burning hoops. No tricks, no clue. Well, let's go. The food wasn't so hot here anyway. I'm glad we're rid of that baby lion. I don't know. I'm gonna miss being a mama. If you want to cure your dog of bad habits, you have to catch him in the act. Dogs have real good hearing, and they hate loud noises. So if you catch them doing something you don't want them to do, try rattling a can of pennies. Uh, he won't associate the sound with you, and it will cure him of his bad habits. It also makes a pretty good piggy bank. 